What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be my recap for The Boys Season 3 Episode 2. Episode 2 begins with a look at The Deep's new film, Not Without My Dolphin, I think is what the title was, before we shift to seeing Butcher inspecting the soup chemical that we know he just took. Uh, but this is a dream from what I see. Butcher wakes up to a video call from Ryan. Homelander visits Stormfront once again for his birthday, even though I think later on it's revealed that it's not actually his birthday. Red River, the question mark from the end of episode one, is revealed to be a group home for young soups owned by a Vought subsidiary. Huey and Starlight talk about the revelation that Newman has powers and is the head exploder, head exploder from season two. Newman has ties to the group home from her youth, from what I assume. And then Starlight goes to the set of American Hero. Homelander meets Supersonic and has what I would call a slick conversation with Starlight about her cold captive position because again, he feels very threatened in this season. Homelander is definitely someone who's more manipulative. He's definitely someone who's on the verge of going off the deep end. So you can see the desperation in him and it that desperation also makes him more terrified. It makes him more controlling and it makes him more difficult to deal with if you're someone who's a part of the Seven and someone attached to Vaught and all these corrupt things going on. So butcher goes to see mother's milk to talk about soldier boy and needing to find the weapon that killed him tracking down payback and getting a lead on killing homelander kamiko and frenchie are shown going to vaultland and watch a feature on soldier boy a new character crimson countess a former member of payback who i think also is someone who dated soldier boy so she's a former member of payback She's interrogated about the death of Soldier Boy and runs from Frenchie and Kamiko after escaping their, their initial ambush. We then see Huey reaching out to Starlight, but Supersonic answers her phone instead, and Huey displays little interest in talking to him. Starlight didn't answer because of her work on American Hero and dealing with Homelander's attitude. Stan interrupts Homelander's attempts to rain on Starlight's parade and reminds him about Starlight being more popular than him right now. We then jump back to Huey, who goes to Red River. He's identified immediately after being spotted on TV with Starlight, but Huey's just trying to collect information on Red River. He makes up a lie about Starlight and, and his semen, I'll just say. <laughs> Huey gains access to a clip of a young Victoria Newman who receives a visit from Stan. So this is more evidence of her alliance and connection with Vought, since we know that Stan Egger is in like a CEO position with the company. Stan and Newman talk about Tony showing up at her job and calling her calling her naughty now this is a present thing where they're showing stan and newman talking about tony showing up at her job and calling her naughty up we then jump to butcher going to a convention presentation from gunpowder another former payback member and ally to soldier boy kids are shown being trained to use guns and butcher confronts gunpowder in the restroom he tries to blackmail gunpowder for information on soldier boy but it doesn't go well Butcher is shot at in the parking lot and fires back with his own rounds before taking a shot in the leg. Gunpowder is revealed to be the shooter and he grazes Butcher with another shot. We then see Homelander making an annual birthday save on a suicidal individual named Chelsea with Ashley having PR ready to take or having PR ready to cover cover this news. So news then breaks that Stormfront has died via suicide. Homelander's emotional state seems to take a massive blow from this. Homelander aids in Chelsea's apparent suicide to cope with the loss of Stormfront. As we see, he doesn't really help her. You'll see. He, the girl still dies. The girl that was on the roof still dies. <laughs> Back at the office, Huey is confronted by Newman who asks about Nadia, thus revealing that she's onto this side of research of his. Starlight saves him from this moment where he is completely nervous around Newman. Starlight and Huey have a conversation about them adopting a child from Red River. Mother's Milk is told to go back to Butcher and confront this drama regarding Soldier Boy uh, while he's still, of course, with his daughter and his, and his girlfriend at this point, or his wife. Butcher calls Huey, and Huey reveals that Newman is a soup to him and that his year of work proves that they have to take Vault down via Butcher's old-fashioned way. Butcher confronts Gunpowder once again and asks why he's protecting Soldier Boy but gets shot for his efforts. He stands up revealing to have taken the chemical and the bullets had no effect. Butcher beats up Gunpowder who reveals that Soldier Boy didn't die how he's remembered in the media. Butcher then kills Gunpowder with rays from his eyes and Homelander is then shown with Starlight on stage together but a comment from a fan regarding Stormfront's death causes him to degrade the attendees and the fans. He starts going on a rant about being treated like a puppet by the machine and says he's done being persecuted. 
Ashley tries to get cut. Ha Ashley tries to get them to cut to commercial, but his public meltdown is televised for everyone to see. So the ending of episode two is definitely going to be something that again sets the stage for a lot of the things that will unfold for the rest of the season it's it's one step to the longer exposure that comes in the season there is a lot of exposure regarding Vought regarding the soups regarding Homelander that happens in this season but I feel like the way it ends might be something that has ever might have some people on the fence but again if you see my review it speaks to how everybody has their head in the clouds and will bury their head in the sand either out of fear or or in the name of going along with what's popular even if what's popular isn't correct it's a it's a scene that i feel like highlights that just perfectly in terms of a modern american culture going along with something that clearly in front of you is wrong on all cylinders but because the machine is for it you don't want to go against the machine you don't want to be ostracized you don't want to jeopardize anything that's going on with you and your current existence and you just join in on what's popular even though what's popular isn't right it's it's wrong in multiple ways but it's just because of the fact that okay if you can't it's again addressing the morality aspect of this season so well if you can't beat them join them him having this live meltdown like this does indeed again have major implications to what happens the rest of the season the episode three recap of course is going to be up tonight as well because by this time you already know episodes one and three debut today and episodes four five six seven eight they'll all get released weekly as it pertains to when these episodes are releasing on amazon prime again they come out at 3 a.m so what i'm actually going to do is commit to having them up before they air so there'll be spoilers over on this channel before the episode even airs because i'm not going to put the video out at 3 a.m in the morning i'm not doing that so if you enjoyed season two or episode two of season three let me know down in the comment section below where do you think we are headed as it pertains to soldier boy what do you think are going to be the connections between soldier boy and everything that's happened so far in this series because there's a giant one uh let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies and reviews you'd like me to cover in the future uh and again these episodes they're going to get better as the season progresses i promise you they're going to get better hero gasm is going to be the favorite for a lot of you and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video